what is full potential to you and what does it mean to you and would that have been different 10 years ago to now mm. I think you don't know about your potential until you you live your life I don't think that you understand about any potential until you understand about about the consequences of, of going through at least 20 years of life you know and I'm talking from 20 years old so what I'm saying is that to follow your last life's course is to do anything and everything in, in your 20s and then to follow some sort of path in your 30s mm. and then to understand that even though you're doing anything and everything in your 30s and but following a path you still don't know in your 40s exactly what you're doing so my father always used to say to me so what do you want to do when you're, when you're older so, no idea, but I, I want to be this, I want to be that, I want to be this, I want to be that. So I went from being an international angler, I want to be a fisherman, um, to, you know, to, you know, I want to be an international athlete, you know, running, sprinting, I was pretty good at that at the time. And then I had no idea that in my 40s, my late 40s, I, I would even be picking up a pen and drawing. Yeah. You understand? So, so life is a very, you know, meandering course and it's snakes and ladders all the way through um, but when you say about potential okay so um, once you get to a point where you've got a platform it's very hard work to get to that platform which is basically establishing something about you as a core person and you're, you're, you're expressing yourself in your personality or your, your job i.e. you could be a math teacher you could be a quantum physics you know um, yeah, lecturer, or you, you understand about uh, you know maybe humanity in some way. <clears throat> I'm not saying art in, in any sense, but I be became an artist. You know, I grew up from that background, mm -hmm. so my potential. I'm realizing that now. You know, only in my late forties, and, and even haven't achieved any of the major goals that I really really want to achieve yet. You know, but yet you know the, the most important thing is to. Um, see an opportunity where you can express yourself and maybe break away from the, the monotony of the nine to five or the working for somebody else and then take that risk and then believe in yourself and have other people to, you know, support you and follow you, um, including your family, of course, you have to have that. And then, you know, once you've taken that jump, well, then you really need to go for it and every single day you need to, you need to do more than you did the day before. So my point is, um, you know, follow your dreams, you know, but, you know, think about with your head first and, uh, you know, your heart will, will definitely, you know, fulfill all your, your, your life's wishes. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to be clever about that strategic jump about when you do it and, and, and what you do it in. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so for me, um, it was pretty clear for me when I, when I needed to do that here. And I'd, I'd reached the top of my game in every, everything with F&B. Mm -hmm. um, left at the top, the Shree was running really well, really popular um, and uh, making a lot of money, a lot of money. And then, you know what, bye guys, see you later. I'm doing my own thing. Nice. That's it. And then to have that confidence, you need to, you need to A, have the balls and, and I mean, I had a family at the time, a small family coming up, you know, so it's a big risk. You know, like I told you before, I'm, I'm a risk taker. But if you don't have that consciousness and that whole uh, faith in yourself, then how can you ever reach what you want to do? Um, we're on the way now. You know, we're on the way, and mm -hmm. it's paid off. It, I'm saying paid off. It's paying off. Yeah. Um, slowly but surely. And, and consistency is the key. Yeah. Uh, you that's, have to be consistent. That's a good one. <laughs>